Thanks, David, and it has been very active weather-wise. So, Ray, one of the things we wanted to ask you about tonight was the earthquake near Harrisburg, and there was also one in the middle of Lake Erie this week. So why are we seeing more, and what are experts saying about all this? All right, when it comes to earthquakes, you don't really hear about them too often around here like you do for areas east of the Rocky Mountains and spots like California. But according to the United States Geological Society, areas from the Rockies to the Atlantic years without an earthquake large enough to even be felt and many states in this half of the country have never even reported earthquake damage. Pittsburgh is not one of those states by the way. Then 4.0 near Cleveland on Monday and a 3.4 magnitude earthquake just outside Harrisburg yesterday and that was followed up by an aftershock of 1.3 on the Richter scale. So what's triggering these earthquakes this week? Well, most of our earthquakes in this region are caused by faulting bedrock and that faulting bedrock um, actually breaks up deep beneath the Earth's surface. Yesterday's earthquake, for instance, was reported at a depth of 18 miles according to information from the USGS, but it's not known if that's the exact cause. Now, according to the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources back in 1998, a 5.2 earthquake caused minor structural damage and significant effects on local groundwater systems in the Pimatuming Lake region just north of our area. So stronger earthquakes are possible and have happened nearby.